In today's exercise, we'll be building a simple coming soon uh, page using Claude.ai. And the reason I use Claude.ai is because it's more accurate when it comes to uh, coding. So let's get into our prompts. So here is the prompt we're going to be using, and I'll break it down for you as we go along. As an expert web developer, provide a step-by-step -step guide for a beginner to create a simple and then a simple yet impressive coming soon page. Include the following elements, a countdown timer to the launch date, a notify me uh, button placed, af placed immediately after the countdown, a pop-up form that captures only the user user's name and phone number. Implement implementation of the PHP mail function to send the captured data to a specific email address. Now, throughout the guide, incorporate design principles inspired by Apple Apple.com's aesthetic, emphasizing simplicity, elegance, uh, and user-friendly interfaces for each step provided. Clear explanations suitable for a beginner, uh, relevant code snippets in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP, best practices for responsive design and cross-browser compatibility, uh, compatibility, and then tips for optimizing user experience. Then I said, include any necessary setup instructions and highlight potentials, potential pitfalls to avoid, to avoid Offer suggestions for further enhancements or customizations once the basic functionality is achieved. So you want to copy that prompt like so, and then you want to paste it into Claude and send. Now let's wait for Claude to do its thing. Claude is spitting out facts for us like so. That's it. You can see that now. Claude is spitting out facts. Let's wait for it to cook. All right, so Claude is done cooking and we have our code like so. So let's start implementing this code one step after the other. The first thing is to create our index.html. So open your visual code like so, I already have mine open and I have my folder here. So we'll add a new file and call it index, index.html, then press enter. Then we'll copy our code, like so. Copy our index code. And then we'll go to cloud, uh, we'll go to code and paste, and then we save. Okay, this is good. And the next thing we want to do is to put in our CSS. So let's open a folder, call it CSS. And then we browse into that folder and create a new file. A new file and call it uh, style.css. Then we'll press enter. And then we'll go and copy our style. Copy our style, CSS. Okay, where is our style? Yes, this is our style. Copy, go back to cloud, and paste. Now, one of the things we want to do is to go back to your HTML and ensure that the style is properly uh, picking from the appropriate folder. So that would be CSS hyphen style.css. So now that's properly pointed. Then after that, we want to do the JavaScript uh, folder, create a new folder. Oh no, that can be, that should be under coming something. Create a new folder like so and call it JS. Paste it, then create a new file and then we'll call it scripts, scripts.js, then like that then go back to cloud and copy our js like so copy and then we'll paste and then you want to save that up now let's go back to our index and ensure that that js is pointing 
accurately. Okay, so that would be a script. Um, sorry, JS. JS hyphen script. Now that's properly pointed. So you save. And then the last thing we want to do is um, what are we copying again? Have our JavaScript. And then, okay, good. We have our JavaScript. And then our mail function, which is our PHP. So we can put that like so. And then we go back to our visual code. Then we can have that here. No, not, not in the JS folder, just in the comments or folder. And we can have that and call it, um, we can call it email.php. For better, better, uh, better, let's be sure. Okay, submit.php. Let's use what Claude is asking us to use so that we don't, uh, it's not like we can change the name, we can. But for the sake of this exercise, let's just stick with what Claude is asking us to do. Just submit, and then we go, and then we commit and copy the code like so. We paste. So um, okay, we'll get back to this later. So we have everything. Do we have everything copied? Let's check if there's any other thing. Okay, there's no other thing here, but aside for the best practices that um, Claude is telling us to take note of. So you want to read that up and see how you can, you know, whatever thing you want to pick there, you know, for the sake of this exercise, let's just go on like that and check everything. So everything is fine, like so. So let's go back to our visual code and run this and see if everything is okay so click that show live so everything seems perfect and the countdown is working the notify pop-up tool is working as well um, so we can go back to the submit.php and then change the um the email address where we're going to be notified just like so just clean up that email address right there and put the appropriate um, email address. So I'll just use um, AI at um, tutorialstep.com for my own. The email can be anything. So um, then let's check, let's close, let's close that. And then let's check if everything is fine. Yes, everything is working very well. Also, you can reduce the timer to whatever date you want by just simply going to the um, JS and change the and change the date the way you want it to be. Let's add a simple gradient by asking Claude to add a background for us. So we can say, can you add a background? And then we send that. So it's just a simple uh, gradient and then Cloud would update the code as we have specified. So we can just modify the body by adding a simple uh, background. Um, like so, we just want to copy this and then we'll go back to the body. Where's the body now? Uh, here. So you can just highlight that and paste and save. You can see a little bit of gradient showing up. Then we want to also adjust the container uh, to sort of let the, the what's it called, the background to pop. So we want to adjust the container. Let's copy the container. Then let's go back to our visual code and then just paste it here like that then you save so you want to remove this so let's save now you can see that i'm done with the background so if you're looking to you know make it you want to add a few more things maybe like um, um you want to write something or maybe the footer page or the social media icon or whatever it is you can always go back to claude 
you know, add me footer, add me this, add me that. So friend, that's how to use um, Cloud AI to build a simple, um, a simple coming soon uh, page. Now, if you want to pull this into your live server, just connect your FTP like I've done mine. Then you want to just to refresh the page like so. And then all you've created, you want to just take that. And then you upload to your server like so. Upload to your server. Let me refresh my connection exactly. Yes, so just drag and drop this into your live server and that will cook for a bit and that's it yeah um, override all so I believe that's successful so you want to go to your URL and check now that's how you build a simple coming soon page using cloud.ai thank you for watching